<sighs> At least somebody agrees with me. Oh, there you are. Um, yes, you have arrived back again for me to have another mention about NASCAR Heat Evolution and how it's going to be a bad game. So there's pro uh, so like every other NASCAR Heat Evolution rant talk thing that I've done is probably going to get some dislikes unless someone out there agrees with me. Like I have a couple things or I have I just heard Thomas's whistle. <laughs> um, I guess he's um, puffing by on the side road doing some work. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to the subject. Um, hang on, I've lost. Tra oh yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought for a second there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I want to give a couple shoutouts in this video to a couple of people who agree with me on NASCAR Heat Evolution, how the game is going to be bad. How it's going to have terrible graphics and a lot of missing features. So I have the two shoutouts right here, and I all I'm also going to review. I am also going to read you a very interesting comment. This comment was once lost. However, I was able to retrieve it back, so I can re read it to you guys in this video because this comment is very interesting. So the two shoutouts I want to give to. Uh, so one of them is called Classic Fuel. And the other one is D C A S E N G. So those are the two shoutouts I want to give to this video. So D C A S E N G um, left a very interesting comment, and so that's why I wanted to give him a shout out. And Classic Fuel, I decided to give him a shout out for agreeing with me, because um, it means I'm not the only one who's gonna think who thinks this game is bad. So, Mr. DCAS, you know, uh, left a very interesting comment about the Eutechnics era of NASCAR games and then going into the DMR era of NASCAR games, which is now. Yeah. And the beginning isn't so good. But, uh, so, um, so let's read this comment from Mr. DCAS, you know, who. who. All right. So, the comment is quite a long one, so I'm just going to get reading it now. Alright, so he said, I can't believe so many people still haven't learned from the past. We went through this for five years with you Technics, and each and every time people came out to defend their garbage product, it usually went like this. NASCAR 2011, it's just their first game. NASCAR Inside Line, they're trying, stop complaining. NASCAR 13, it takes time to get everything right. NASCAR 14, they'll patch it up. And NASCAR 15, it's only $20, what do you expect? Each game was exactly like the last one, except for the updated paint schemes. This is the current state of game development, and it's because of people who keep allowing developers to lie and exaggerate about their games by making excuses for them. I've seen this play out before. This game looks awful, even for a beta stage. This game is just over two months away from release, and people think that they are going to clean up this mess in two months. I mean... Why is that? The cars look like they have several layers of dust on them, and they look incredibly dull. You've got that right. And pop out from the rest of the screen like a bad 1980s CGI movie. Mr. D-C-A-S-E-N-G, you are the man. You know what's happening, and you agree with me. You are the man. And I, I give you an award for that. You are the man. You know what's happening. Yeah, see? This guy, he knows what's happening, just like me. He's not falling for the hype like all the other losers are. He actually knows his stuff, just like me and Classic Fuel, who also made a rant video talking about why NASCAR Heat Evolution will be terrible. And I thank these two people for not falling for the hype and actually looking at the flaws and mistakes that DMR and Monster Games are making with their game. It's horrendous. I mean, really. So yeah. So after, so after hearing that statement from that guy, I'm tired of saying his name. Um, because it's quite a long name, it's mouthful. So yeah, after hearing that comment, who's with me? 
A lot of you guys are probably still going to dislike this video thinking, No, NASCAR Heat Evolution is going to be a good game. I am going to buy it, I pre-order it, and Well, that's why I'm not. Because this game is going to be terrible. And, as, and, and like he said, it's not like DMR or Monster Games are going to have enough time to patch up the game before its release. I mean, the game comes out in two months. That's not a lot of time to fix up the game. Not a lot of time at all. I mean, this should just be the polishing stage of the game. And now, two months away from release, it looks like trash. And when the game comes out, it's going to look like trash. It, it, I mean, really. And, and sadly, you Technics, they made, they were actually able to accomplish better graphics than NASCAR Heat Evolution. Like... Like all five of the games that you Technics game that the that you Technics made that were NASCAR, they all had good graphics. Even though the even though the games had terrible, terrible gameplay, they had good graphics. And NASCAR Evolution is basically the opposite of all of the U Technics NASCAR games. Like like I know like I like the game cost sixty dollars. So I know that's going to have good gameplay and stuff, that's for sure. It's going to have good gameplay. Maybe. I can't guarantee it. Um, so I hope they release a demo of NASCAR Evolution. Maybe I'll get that and try that out. Then I'll really be able to have the experience for NASCAR Evolution. Because I'm definitely not, playing, not, definitely not paying $6 for it. Definitely not. No way. No way in heck I'm paying $60 for NASCAR Evolution. Not worth my money. Not at all. So, uh, what else was I going to say? Um, I actually can't remember anything else that I was going to say. But yeah, guys. After hearing his comment, what do you think of NASCAR Evolution now? So, do you think that Monster Games and DMR can improve their game when they make NASCAR 2017? Or do you think it'll just be the same trash of NASCAR Evolution? And also, someone else told me that Monster Games... Hasn't made a game in 15 years. Like, there's another point off of DMR for hiring people who haven't made a game in 15 years. Because the last, I guess the last game that Monster Games made was NASCAR Heat 2002. And that game was released in 2002, so it makes sense for it to have poor graphics. But, still. You Technics managed to get make their game better than... A PlayStation 2 game, such as NASCAR 2005. But yeah, that's all I have to say. What do you think now, guys?